so as the weather starts chilling and the garden starts going to bed, it's time to start thinking ahead to next year. And that means garlic. Some people don't do the preparation steps that we are going to do, uh, but this is the first year that I am doing garlic on my very own. Uh, typically it is something that my husband does and I'm using his method. So all we did was we separated and sorted our cloves from the garlic head, you know, go through and inspect any that are rotting. We, we get rid of those and any that are good we put into a nitrogen rich water uh, this is a compost tea that my husband put together and we're hopefully giving that garlic a good head start to grow strong over the winter and give us delicious garlic in the spring you see little hands helping. That is Clara. She is loving being in the garden this year and I think next year is going to be even more of a treat for her. Um, I just used a pool skimmer handle to help guide my lines and just hoed in straight rows and then plop the garden in the, in the trench and covered it up. It's really that simple. Hopefully, come spring, we have some delicious garlic that we can take and multiply into more garlic, but we can also enjoy and use in the kitchen. There's all kinds of good, good things that you can do with garlic. Um, some of my favorite, besides just cooking, is to make a fermented honey garlic syrup. Uh, that's really nice. It's delicious. You wouldn't think that it would be good with those two flavor combinations, but it is. It's very delicious and it's good to help support that immune system during the winter time. Uh, there's other garlic experiments that I'm excited to do next year when we've got an abundance. But for right now, it's time to put the garlic to bed. Let it do its thing and rest, just like we're getting ready to over this winter season.